Hi, I'm Misha, your host of Celebrity Profile Entertainment. I'm here at West LA College for Educating Young Minds. They're launching their new website, Access No Excuse. What is the premise behind your organization? In all honesty, I would say parents are responsible and children are held accountable. And given that premise, I really believe that success is possible. I believe all children can learn. I believe all children should have a first-class quality education, regardless of income, regardless of gender or nationality. I believe that that can happen, especially if, if all of us. When you, can you imagine when a lot of us surround one child? And if all of us within the circle are saying the same thing to this child daily, and that child tries to slip through the cracks. He can't because there's no way through. I left Memphis, Tennessee from the projects and went to Cornell. After I left Cornell, graduating from there, I then moved to California and I saw various things that were happening in the system. I was teaching part-time and I realized that what had happened for me can happen for others. That there was a serious dropout rate in the system, there were some serious problems, and that we could no longer afford to blame one another. Instead, find a way to create that village, that same kind of village I had in Memphis. And that's how it started in my one bedroom apartment with uh, two kids and $50. I'm on the board of uh, Educating Young Minds, and I've been on for a number of years, and just proud to be a part of this very wonderful and uh, progressive organization. Now, I know you're a strong advocate of education. Why is it so important, especially in our community that we live in? Well, over 40% of our children are dropping out of high school before they graduate in, a, in an economy that's going from a uh, domestic to a global economy. And um, without a high school education and knowledge of the new jobs and the new job force, which is a global job place, um, it's going to be difficult to survive uh, without education. And we are in competition with China and India and Africa and other nations, and we have to really begin to understand what the implications of that are, or will be, if we do not get an education. What message did you want to put across or send to the youth? Well, I think it's great uh, what Angelis has been doing. I mean, she started this, I remember, <laughs> almost 20 something years ago in her apartment. She started tutoring kids and, um, and then it just started growing and growing and growing. And I've told her, I said, this is such a great, great thing that you're doing for the kids. And of course she loves it to death. This new thing that she has with going online with it. I mean, that's because kids are always online, you know, Facebooking and doing all kind of stuff, you know. So with this uh, being available to them, you know, to get something in their heads too as opposed to just chatting it up, you know what I mean? So my, my message, I guess, is to say, do something with the time that you're spending, you know, online, do something to get the, something in your head and get out here and make a contribution and, you know, maybe do something like uh, Miss Eccles has done, you know, so. Well, it's great to have you come out and what support. What is your involvement in tonight's ceremony? I am performing along with a lot of good friends and colleagues that I have done known many of them for a lot of years. And uh, so it's great to be here. Can you give us a little <laughs> snippet about what we're going to hear tonight? I'm going to be singing, uh, I'm like a bridge over troubled water. I will lay me down like a bridge over troubled water. I will lay me down. It gets much bigger inside. It gets much more gospelly inside.